Hey guys, it's Sarah and I am here with another layout that I made for the Victoria Mary scrapbook retreat and I put together these page kits and I finally decided to sit down and knock them out because I did not get to all of the kits when I went to the retreat back in October. So I am going back and pulling these kits out and I am making these pages now and I'm really excited about them. So this one is a Star Wars layout and this is about us going to see The Force Awakens. And this was Kaylin's first Star Wars experience. She had never seen any of the movies. And when this one came out, she was old enough that we felt that she could go. And so we took her and she ended up really enjoying it. Um, she has not seen any of the other original movies yet. We're going to have to work on that. <laughs> um, but she did go and see Rogue One with me. So that was uh, something. But yeah, so she's not fully on board quite yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> I think as she watch the, watches the original ones, she'll be more on board. All right, so I'm going to do kind of a grid pattern. And I have these two four by six pictures. One is just a really cool Star Troopers image from the, one of the movie posters that they had for the movie and then the other one is a snapshot of our movie tickets from when we went to go see it and i'm cutting down these two star pattern papers so these are blue and yellow and they have um, stars on them and then i definitely have you know that's that star paper the black and white as well so i went really stars on this one <laughs> um Somehow I got off on my measurements. I don't know how that happened with the yellow paper, but I'm going to go fix that in just a second. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Why did that happen? <laughs> I think I was supposed to tuck it behind. I don't, I don't know. So I did that. Anyway, um, so I put this all on the black cardstock, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And then my star paper is cut down by a quarter of an inch. So I will use that to map my entire layout. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges of this so that they're all straight. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get my background paper on here. Isn't that perfect for a Star Wars layout? I love it. <laughs> okay, so I am um, using a sketch for this one and I had previously sketched it out. So I'm kind of consulting that and making sure I grab supplies I need for what I'm gonna do for this sketch. And I have this washi tape here that is um, hand-drawn stars. So I'm gonna use these to kind of um, Add another layer here and then I have some movie reel washi tape which I absolutely love I think I got this at Michael's a really long time ago but this is one of my favorite washies I love this stuff <laughs> and so I'm gonna use a little bit on the top and on the bottom and I am putting my washi down first aren't you guys proud of me and then I have this little tag that I think was from a piece of clothes or something, um, but I kept it because it had the Star Wars symbol on it. And also a Kylo Ren, but you know, I'm not gonna end up using him, but um, I do use the Star Wars words there. I think about using him, but nope. All right, so I'm going to end up using that Star Wars and I have this little cutout that says here we go. So I'm going to fussy cut around and use this here. So I'm going to use both of them down. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut out this star as well. I don't want to use the whole thing so I just want the star part there. And I am going to What am I going to do? I'm just sitting right now. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and kind of stick this down 
And then I want to also write down the Force Awakens. Um, and then this right here is a little paper clip that says love, so I'm going to stick that at the top. And then I'm thinking about my subtitle here because I'm going to have a title on top, but I'm going to do a subtitle down here. And I want it to be Star Wars The Force Awakens because I want it to definitely show that that's the one that I'm talking about here because the movie ticket does not say that it just says Star Wars. So I'm going to use these um, Teresa Collins tiny letter stickers and these are in teal and I'm going to go ahead and spell out The Force Awakens down here. And then I'm going to put this down and put that down there as well. <laughs> and then I'm going to work on my title up top. I'm using these Hip Kit Club alphabet stickers. These are uh, like a puffy sticker almost. And I am spelling out it started here because this is where Kaylin started basically with her Star Wars watching. And I have this little black and white here and now sticker that I pulled for my stash that I really like so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down I really like how it fits right here and then I am thinking about this yellow and I really want to put these two little characters here this is Han Solo and Chewie and uh, you know they both played a big part in The Force Awakens so I want to talk about them or not them but I'm this is where I want to do my journaling and I want to feature these characters there <laughs> I'm not journaling about the characters. I'm journaling about Caitlin. <laughs> but <laughs> um, these stickers I got at Walmart, I believe, a long time ago. And um, they were just cute little fun stickers. So I got them. And I actually ended up using almost all of them, I think, now. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these guys down here. And I just kept Chewy there so that I could make sure I didn't uh, go over on my journaling. And... I'm going to go ahead and start putting some of these things down. So I have a number seven there and I'm using that because this is the seventh Star Wars movie. And uh, so it just kind of fit nicely there. And I think I had like, that was the only thing I had left on a sticker sheet and it was a number seven and it ended up being perfect because that's what I needed. So <laughs> it was pretty nice. I'm going to um, put that label down there and then I have this black and white brad that I'm going to use and I'm going to go ahead and put some washi tape on the back so it doesn't snag any of my other layouts or anything. And then I have this gray label which I will stick somewhere as well. Just right there. No rhyme or reason, just putting some layers. And then I have a couple other things here that I want to make sure I use. I don't use absolutely everything that I pulled for this, but I, I do use a lot, so I was excited. I pulled a few of these chipboard word strips here, and some of them are movie related. One says lights, camera, action. Um, one says all together and everyone's favorite. And then I can't remember what the other one says. Um, and then I have that foam word that says yes and I really liked that so I put that right above the movie tickets and I'm going to go ahead and get all these stuck down and since they're chipboard I am using my quick dry adhesive to make sure I um <laughs> they stay down so and then I have uh this really cool banner that has stars on it the gold stars which I really like so I'm going to layer that down there as well And then I have all those stars that I want to stick down. And I'm going to kind of cover up a little bit of the stars in the background. So I'm just going to kind of use those for that. But these are really cool epoxy outline stars. And then I have this label here too. So as you can see, I'm just really trying to make sure I use up as much as I can. I don't end up using that doily, but it's okay. I use it on a different layout. And so I'm going to stick that down there. And then I have this large star that I'm going to go ahead and stick on top too. 
And then that is going to complete my layout guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and I will have, um, some more of these layouts for these kits that I made for the Victoria Marie retreat. And I'm just super excited that I got them all finished up. So I will see you guys again soon and I will talk to you later.